look at developing stories. Let's bring in Diane King Hall, senior markets correspondent here on Schwab Network, taking a look at Intel. Um, this one not doing as well no. as some of the other names in tech. While t you know that Asdaq's having the best yep. day since February, but not Intel. What's the no, Intel, Intel story? Is not participating in this party. Intel's really been behind the eight ball when it comes to both AI and it's just playing catch up when you compare it to say NVIDIA uh, and others in this uh, mega cap tech sector. Intel came in mixed in terms of its results, and it's really the guidance that's causing some pressure on its shares. Uh, adjusted EPS was 18 cents a share. Revenue was 12.72 billion. Revenue was a little light, but it's really those concerns about the outlook for Intel. Intel projecting uh, that its second quarter revenue will be 13 point, uh, will be between rather 12 and a half to 13 and a half billion analysts were looking for more than 13.6 billion so they were looking for higher than even the high end of what intel is expecting intel's trying to grow its ai market share struggling with that when you compete against an nvidia which is the king the heavyweight right or even an amd which has been kind of uh, look to as a distant second. Intel is really struggling to play catch up in terms of that space. It's trying to uh, pull customers away. It's struggling to do that. It has Microsoft as one of its customers, but look, Microsoft is it, developing its own bench in terms of uh, AI chips, et cetera. So Intel's really running up against a wall uh, in terms of that. Now, this is the first quarter where it's broken out its new corporate structure. Uh, that includes the client computing group, data center and AI, and uh, its edge division that's under its Intel product segment. In terms of how each of those segments uh, performed, uh, Intel products had revenue of $11.9 billion. That was up uh, double digits year over year. Uh, you also had its client computing group that had some strong performance, though it's not playing out in terms of share. Client computing uh, saw revenue increase about 30 percent. That was you can attribute that to some gains in the PC market, which is one of its strengths, its old school strengths, if you will. Um, but again, this has been a challenging space for Intel when it goes up against the heavyweights uh, and tries to grab some market share in terms of the AI development. Will it potentially be a third place? It remains to be seen. Right now, stock down uh, about more than 9%. Nine. Yep. 9%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, what's interesting is that the Mizuho analyst was saying that mm -hmm. based on the outlook it. of Intel, that it just shows that the bottom is not in. Yep. And while the CEO can come out and say, look, we're seeing demand for general purpose servers and, and things all AI, um, you know, AI personal computers. But the big picture here is that it's under pressure. I will say thank you, Diane King Hall. Okay. I will say a lot of the guests that come on have been picking Intel. I mean, they're, they haven't abandoned it yet. Let's see if that changes. Thank you for that. It's down 9% now today.